How's it going YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another review. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer I've been wanting to try for quite some time. Uh, sent to me by my buddy Ben, so thanks a lot dude. Today's beer is from Sawdust City out in Gravenhurst, Ontario. This is their Lone Pine IPA. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Uh, love myself a good IPA. The East Coast seems to put out some really nice uh, IPAs, Ontario, that area. Uh, Sawdust City is coming in out of uh, Gravenhurst, Ontario, and this one they're using pure Muskoka water. Uh, Malt-wise, they're using Canadian two-row barley, Crystal 45, Cara Munich Type 1, and Cara Foam Malts. Hop-wise, it's uh, Summit Simcoe Columbus Chinook and Californian Ale Yeast. It's coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs, and 11 SRMs. So let's get it cracked, poured, and see how it is. The appearance on the Lone Pine IPA from Sada City. Three fingers of an off-white bubbly head. Really frothy looking head on this one. Looks real nice. Uh, hazy, uh, orange, like bright orange color to it. Looks like an absolutely beautiful IPA. Bit of carbonation, let's get an aroma. Pine, for sure. Getting uh, the certain kind of fruit, I can't really put my nose on it right now. Definitely getting the grapefruit, the typical IPA notes. It smells really nice. Hint of malt, cheers. Yeah, that's a really pleasant uh, super flavorful, yet slightly mild IPA. It's uh, just really well balanced. Uh, it does have a month or two on it, pretty sure, but um, that being said, the hop flavors are definitely still there. You get the typical West Coast kind of hops from this one, the uh, pine, resin, a uh, hint of like a dankness, like an onion garlicky kind of thing in the background, a nice amount of that grapefruit juice, grapefruit peel, a hint of like something close to a tart raspberry, something like that. It's really unique. Uh, getting a little bit of like a yeast taste as well. Um, getting a decent amount of malt just to balance everything out. Nice sweetness, like a caramel sweetness. Way in the background too. As a rating on the Soda City Lone Pine IPA, it's got a really nice balance to it. Uh, I, of course, do like my crazy hot bomb kind of IPAs, but that being said, this is a perfect beer for hot heads like me who want to take it easy and people just getting into IPAs, you know? Um, really nice hot profile, beautiful flavors from the hops. I'm sure fresher would be better, but uh, that being said, Really nice malt bill to this one, balances everything out, that nice sweetness, um, really beautiful IPA. I'd have to go straight up 86 on it, it's really damn good, uh, nothing mind blowing, nothing that really stands out, but uh, it's definitely a well brewed, really well made IPA, great flavors to it and I definitely recommend picking up a Lone Pine IPA from Sawdust City. Definitely one for West Coast top heads, you know, it's really nice beer. Definitely give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it as your opinions may differ. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Till the next time. Cheers.